2. Human Genetic Potential and Actual Lifespan The lifespan of all living things is already contained in genetic information that is determined at birth. However, this genetic information does not represent the longevity of life but only the basic factors that can extend the life for a certain period of time. Therefore, the actual lifespan can vary greatly depending on various conditions. So, as we always see in our daily lives, some people may get sick or die from accident at a young age, but some people live 70 to 80 years with good health care without special illness, illness or accident. In some cases, you can live more than 100 years by doing very well. So, in the end, even with the same genetic information, the actual lifespan may vary greatly depending on health care. So, how long can the human genetic life potential live? I cannot help but wonder. Of course, not all people are born with the same genetic information of life. Some people are born with a stronger constitution and are more likely to live 10 to 20 years longer than others, while others are born with genetic information that can lead to early death if they take poor health care. However, on a large scale, human genetic information has some commonality just as there are genetic specialities for each type of other animals. In this regard, if you look at the genetic potential of a human life, you will see cases where people claim to be 100 years, 120 years or 150 years. It is not known what kind of a scientific backing these factors, these facts speak or what statistical practice they speak, or whether they speak with simple guesses or feelings. In any case, since this is a universe information that no one can say, it is reasonable to think about the most reliable thing based on statistical examples. I looked at this program once by the law of rhythm of amniology. The reason is that a person is born and dies as a phenomenon that progresses in the rhythm of a lifetime. It is a cyclical cycle that is rhythm rather than just being accidentally born and living and dying. When we say rhythm, we often think of short rhythms like the beat of music in fact, this rhythm is the basic principle of a cosmic activity. Universal phenomena are thousands, tens of thousands of years. Also, the multi-dimensional rhythm, which is given an infinitely long time, proceeds in harmony. Of these natural rhythms, it is the rhythm of the ear that you can closely observe the progress of the rhythm. The rhythm of the ear starts on January 1 of a winter passes through spring, summer, and fall and becomes winter again. And this principle of rhythm can be thought of in conjunction with a person's life. In other words, spring is the period when a person is born and grows. Summer is adolescence, adult food, and autumn is old age. And when winter comes, the body throws away like a leaf and falls asleep. So the lifespan of a person grows 30 years spring, works as a 30 years adult summer, and dies after 30 years old autumn. I think that the lifespan of around 90 years, that is 80 to 100 years, is inherently, inherently genetic. Therefore, the
The lifespan of around 90 years is your general lifestyle that has been lived so far. And it is the story of living with proper health care. It is undeniable that if a special life management method is applied, the lifespan can be extended to 150, 200, or even hundreds of years. If we look at how long we actually enjoy the genetic potential of life as described above, this program is evident in the average life expectancy of each country as the reader knows better. And what is more important than lifespan is how much we can maintain or health state without a disease during the period of life. And if we consider that it is a bigger factor influencing human happiness, we desperately need to live more wisely in order to enjoy the life that heaven has given us healthily. I feel it and I think it's worth trying.